my phone is being such a butt right now. Okay. 40 day prosperity plan day 28 and um, just for full transparency I'm in a bit of a weird space right now um, I have slow tomorrow uh, the event and the energy of it the energy of it is um, it's working me <laughs> it's, it's working me <laughs> And so I feel like I, it, it, I'm just in this, I'm really in this space of, of no thingness. Like just in a space of no thingness. Interesting. Okay, let me read the statement. This is statement eight, day 28. My favorite one. My consciousness of the spirit within me as my unlimited source is the divine power to restore the years the locusts have eaten, to make all things new, to lift me up to the high road of abundant prosperity. This awareness, understanding, and knowledge of spirit appears as every visible form and experience that I could possibly desire. My consciousness of the spirit within me as my unlimited source is the divine power to restore the years the locusts have eaten, to make all things new, to lift me up to the high road of abundant prosperity. This awareness, understanding, and knowledge of spirit appears as every visible form and experience that I could possibly desire. So as I'm reading that and I'm thinking about my event tomorrow. So first of all, I, one of the reasons why I love this statement is because it lets me know that no matter what has been taken away from me, no matter what I've lost, no matter what hardships I've gone through, when I commit to being the embodiment of the frequency that I was given, it's as though none of it happened. And a, a beautiful way to illustrate that for those of you who, you know, this is what the story of Job was about. In the Bible, excuse me. This is what that story was about. When you commit to allowing this frequency of divine abundance, of divine energy, when you allow it to flow through this beautiful antenna that you have called a body, what you get back in your life is far more than you could have ever imagined. And now in the story, it shows up as riches and love and all that because we can understand that, but it, it could be just really good health. It may not, it's not always about the money. It may not be the relationship with someone else. Maybe it's the relationship with yourself. Maybe that's the golden ticket. We always focus on these external things. But when you get right, when you get right within, when you and not just understand, but embody the, 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 the knowledge and the knowing that you are this divine abundance walking in human form. Anything that you have experienced when you're, when you're in tune with it, right? You talked about the body being an antenna. When you're, when you're in lockstep frequency with source, God, the quantum field, like I said, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter what you call it. To me, it's all the same. So in the beginning, I said, you know, I'm in this weird headspace. I, I am fully allowing myself to dip into the frequency of, of this event that I have tomorrow. And I can feel shifts in me because of work that I've done. And so I can feel the frequency on a much deeper level. And I'm just allowing myself to kind of ride with it. Even though it feels a little bit awkward. Because this is what's going to need to come through me tomorrow. This is what I am in service to. 
I'm not particularly in service to the people. And that's something that we really have to realize. You're not here to be, I'm going to say this two different ways so you understand. You're not here to be in service to people. You're here to be in service to the divine frequency flowing through you. And from that space, be in service to the people who resonate with that divine energy. Does that make sense? Because when you try to be of service to people, you got to keep switching around and moving around what you're doing. You don't have a, you don't have a grounded center. If the people want A, you give them A. If the people want B, you give them B. When you are in service to the frequency that is flowing through your body to this divine, abundant, lavishly abundant energy that flows through you and then out into the world, then you are in service to those who resonate with that frequency, which means you're not in service to everybody. And you're not in service to your client avatar either you're in service to those who resonate with the frequency and so for tomorrow i'm not in service to the people who are coming they're coming because they resonated with the frequency and what they're going to get tomorrow is the frequency however that needs to come through and this is very different than you know because there's a there's a little bit of shaky ground with this, right? There's a little bit of not exactly knowing what's going to happen. What's all of the plan? You don't necessarily know that when you're in service to a frequency. You just know that you have to trust the frequency. But as said in statement eight, when you trust the frequency, when you are on it, it will, it will be as though those years that you feel like you were in pain or suffered or other things happened, it will be as though it, it won't even, what you're going to get back, it, it, it'll be as though you, you didn't lose. I had a reading today. Um with Demure Life, check her out. I also had a reading earlier this week with Lizzie Vance, and they're both here on Facebook, so that's Demure Life and Lizzie Vance. And um, I didn't plan to get two readings in a, in a week. It just, it just ended up happening that way. And, you know, they, they both corroborated some things, which was, ex which was exciting. Um, but one of the things that was discussed was this idea that there's there's a there's a lot of loss in 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 different ways in my life, and I don't want to talk about this too much because I feel like I just I just don't want to I just don't want to talk about me a lot right now. But the the people and 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 things and places that I have lost could have kept me energetically in a position where I felt victimized. And it did, actually, for, for some time. You know, um, I was going to write this post earlier, and, and I'm probably still going still gonna to write it. Um, speaking about this, I just, I don't have the written words for it, so it's easier for me to speak it. Um, when we lose things, in my case, you know, it was homes, literally, you know, I, 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 you know, my parents ended up evicted when I was a child and we didn't, you know, we were living with relatives, but it wasn't like my space. And then, you know, as an adult, you know, went through the same thing with my children and my ex-husband and, and, you know, lost items, you know, um, lost homes, um, and shelters, and it's very easy to fall into the trap of woe is me. It's very easy to fall into the trap of, uh, you know, my life sucks. I'm here for for suffering. It's it's just not going to get any better than this. Let me just let me just let me just try and tread the water. And I did that. I did that for for a long time. Um, there was always this something in the back of me though that was like, no, there's. No, there's something else. And I don't remember how I discovered the movie The Secret, you know, and, and, and when we were homeless, you know, I just, you know, let that, I watched that every night, every night, every night, because I knew 
that that watching things and having them repeat in your mind over and over and over again, they start to stick in, in there. But my body didn't agree with me, right? So and my, my mind was starting to shift, but my body didn't agree with me. And I've, I've talked about that in some other videos. And so I wasn't in tu- like... I wasn't in tune with the frequency like I am now. And I, and I, I intend to, as I say this, like I can feel the shiver up my spine. I intend to get more in tune with it as time goes on, as I work it through my body. Ooh, my heart really like that. My heart really like that. Ooh. Um, so I was half in tune with it, right? Because I was talking about statement eight where, you know, to make it seem like all the, the suffering that you went through is like, the mind was starting to get there, but the body was still in, in deep in survival mode. My body was deep in, in survival mode. My nervous system was deep in survival mode. And so I would like, I would like create wins in my life and then gone. And create wins and then gone. And then I would get down on myself because it was like, why can't I sustain it? You know, like, why, why can't I like, why can't I hold it? And I didn't know then that it was because you, your mind is starting to go, but your body has to catch it. Like, I, it, I didn't know the, 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 the deep, like, the deep connection like I know now, right? Between the, the body and the mind and how it really all works together. And and so there was a lot of frustration and there was there was a lot of of this idea that this life is just not gonna ever get better. <laughs> and so it was interesting to me to get the readings from Demure Life and and Lizzie and and see through someone else's eyes how things have shifted. And I say all this to say that, you know. There are people who have been through it. This is not a comparison because people have been through some far worse things than I could ever imagine going through. But my thing is always, you know, anyone can shift. Anyone can shift their life. Anyone, at any time, at any age. Like, it's so possible. And when you... It's not just about reading the statements in the book. It's about understanding and knowing and feeling. You have to feel it in your body. You can't just know it up here and write it down. Because you create and then stop. And then create and then stop. And sometimes that's more frustrating. Because it's like eating a good meal and then someone taking it away from you. And then they bring it back like five minutes later. Because then what happens is you try to stuff your face with it. You know, because you're afraid it's going to go away again. We don't want to do that. We want it long lasting. And, 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 and in order for that to happen, it's got to land in your body. It's got to land in your body. You have to feel the... You have to feel the joy of it creep all the way up and through your body. Like I feel it in my cheeks right now when you think about the fact that you are the walking embodiment of lavish divine abundance like you have to feel that shit in your genitals you need to feel it in your in your in your heart you have to it's it's not something that you just like i know that it is you 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 need to feel you need to be filled with the with the holy the holy spirit the holy ghost (laughs) filled with that to like to to really know and understand it because because when you can feel it in your body Right, then your 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 aura, the the electromagnetic field around you, as it be, first of all, it begins to expand. Right, because it does when you're contracted. It's like, but it begins to expand, and it gets it gets stronger, and it's sending out these waves. Like because we that's what we are. It's sending out these waves. Like I said before, it's like it's like old TV waves, probably you know, same satellites. It sends out the signal and it bounces back. You are sending out the signal now on a totally different level, and it's bouncing back. And sometimes it takes time. Sometimes it takes time. But you don't stop broadcasting ever. You don't stop. You feel this and you let it push out and you let it broadcast and you let it come back. Your life is the visualization of the energy that you feel. 
your life that you see and what is in it, your job, your friends, your lover, your not lover, your everything is the physical manifestation of the vibrations that you are giving off. And you can shift that. You can shift that. All right, I'm going to read statement eight again. I'm hungry, so I'm going to go eat. So I got on here late today. My consciousness of the spirit within me as my unlimited source is the divine power to restore the years the locusts have eaten <laughs> to make all things new, to lift me up to the high road of abundant prosperity. This awareness, understanding, and knowledge of spirit appears as every visible form and experience that I could possibly desire. Your consciousness of the spirit within you as your unlimited source is the divine power to restore the years the locusts have eaten to make all things new to lift you up to the high road of abundant prosperity this awareness understanding and knowledge of spirit appears as every visible form and experience that you could possibly desire all right so uh slow happens tomorrow 1 p.m eastern uh we're doing some embodiment we're opening up the body we're opening it we're, we're we're shifting energy you still have time to join us i will put the link in the comments um i'm excited about it so i have to come on here because i'm also doing a teaching in the central energy coven if you don't know i don't really advertise it but i should, <laughs> probably should um i do have a membership group called the central it's the central energy coven it is for women and um, if you're interested in joining DM me, I will be teaching a live masterclass within the coven uh, tomorrow morning. And then I have slow in the afternoon. And then um, I'm going I'm to take a bath. All right. I love you. I will see you tomorrow for day 29. Bye.